morning. Um, looks like Chick-fil-A is already open. Uh, so I guess no matter how long they take to unload me here, we're gonna end up across the street because our next load, today's Saturday. Next load doesn't pick up till Monday. So guess how many miles I ended up with this week? I'm just gonna tell you guys, cause it's really embarrassing. What the hell, come on. Let me slide. Hopefully this stuff doesn't fall out the back. We ended up with 900 miles this week, dude. Bro, how did the truck almost stall out? Are you kidding me? Oh, that does not smell good. I mean, that smells really bad, actually. Oh, it smells like burnt clutch, dude. That is not good. Like, not good at all. Maybe it's burnt rubber. It might be burnt rubber. I'm hoping. There we go. Finally got that dang thing to release, dude. Come on. Dude, that... What is that smell? Alright, I'm gonna go... If that's... That's any transmission smell, dude. That that cannot be good at all. I'm hoping it's one of the tires. I have a bad feeling. Oh, something in the engine bay, dude. That's not good. That is really not good, dude. Like at all. I'm gonna have to pop the hood while they're unloading me. really off again hopefully I can just unload it because we're about to freaking we in the dock We need to pop the hood because that does not smell good. It still stinks really bad. Bro, I don't know what's going on. I can still smell it. We're done getting loaded though. I went inside for like two hours almost. I'm gonna go close the trailer doors. I popped the hood, nothing leaking, like nothing like that. So I don't, I guess we're gonna find out as we drive down the road this morning. I'm going to Lubbock, Texas. To go, I think it's like 120 miles, so two hours of driving, and then we're gonna wait because our load doesn't pick up till Monday morning. So, literally gonna wait until uh, there's like food all over this thing. Yeah, we're gonna wait until uh, 10.30. Walk across the street, go get some Chick-fil-A. We're 
finally leaving this tractor supply. We're headed up to the Loves in Lubbock. I'm gonna head over there, I guess, and sit till Monday morning at 11 a.m. It's only Saturday at 11 a.m. So we're We've about made it to the Loves. Uh, last time I came here, I had to go down and then come back on the other side um, due to construction, but I was uh, listening to the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, I want to say it was the other day, maybe yesterday, I'm not sure, it was a couple days ago. I heard a theory about the, I think it's called the Adam and Eve theory. I, I don't know, but anyways, basically, every 300,000 years, the core of Earth will, like, change, and it will, like, tilt Earth on its axis, so, like, the North Pole and the South Pole, the magnetic fields will now become, will become East and West, and vice versa, like, East and West will become North and South, but, like, basically, the Earth rotates 90 degrees, and... When this happens, like, it literally will cause, um, like, winds that are, like, unreal, like, just, like, pretty much end times, you know, like, very few will survive. And I was just like, wow, like, you know, it's just kind of, it's one of those crazy things. It says no left turn for trucks. I can easily make that, but... We'll listen, we'll go down and, cause I'm pretty sure it probably said no right turn for trucks there and that guy did that, but we're just gonna go down, come back from the other side. And uh, that's what we did last time. But it was just so fascinating to me. Cause it's like, they say that like earth will like the winds, like the atmosphere won't be a, I'm not a scientist, guys, obviously, I'm a truck driver, but just kind of re-say what I heard. Um, like, everything in the atmosphere will, like, continue. Um, like, because Earth spins at, like, a thousand miles an hour. But since the Earth is connected to the core, you know, the Earth will stop spinning, but the winds will travel at a thousand miles an hour, and, like, it will just destruct a lot of stuff, dude. Like, rip it to shreds, like, and they say like it'd be very hard to survive like because like the waves you know like the earth would stop spinning but the waves aren't connected to the core you know so they're gonna come up on land you know because they'll still be moving at a thousand miles an hour but you know once earth stops spinning it, it's just crazy dude I, I when i heard that i was like dude this holy crap like, I was just like, no way. But they say it happens every 300,000 years on supposed to average. It's supposed to happen every 300,000 years. But the last time it happened was 789,000 years ago or something like that. Which is kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. I knew I was going to get up on that curb. Kind of scary. But this is what we had to do last time. We had to come down, come down this side of the ramp. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that theory. Maybe like look it up and like actually listen to like the theory and then like comment what you think about it. Cause I thought it was very fascinating and like, like a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people are scared of it, but I'm not like, like, dude, we all die at some point, and at that point, I'd rather just die instantly than suffer. Because, like, some people definitely will suffer from that. You know, like, not die instantly, and, you know. I think it'd be real, just even, like, you know, you have, like, 60-mile wind blowing at you. It's hard to breathe. You know, like, I think, I think it'd be hard to... <laughs> breathe with a thousand mile an hour wind dude like and you can't hide behind a house and like get protection because that house is gonna blow over dude like no like that's stronger winds than a tornado you know my flame closed yeah i knew that but we're 
trip. You guys won't have a video for a couple days. We're literally gonna be at this Loves for till Monday morning, and it's Saturday at two o'clock. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much gonna do it for a couple days, which sucks because I really just want to be uploading a lot of content for you guys, but we can only do so much. How do we enter here? Let's see if this truck can get into the loves. I don't think he can. I think I gotta go right here. Uh, the sign says no left turn. It doesn't say anything about no right turn. So I think for us to get into this loves, we gotta go. Last time I could enter in off that road over there, but my seat feels like it's a little high. Oh, ooh, I don't know how I get, because that place I'm going to tomorrow is north of here. I think we're gonna back in next to that other CFI, and I'm gonna ask him how many miles he's gotten for the week, if he doesn't mind telling me. Because I've spoke to like three other CFI drivers like on the phone and all of them say the same thing. Oh, he's got his curtains shut. Close to the center line here. That's gonna do it for today's video. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for future content. We will see you guys on Tuesday. Peace. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah. Let me show you how I'm living. Come on.